Welcome back to Screen Sleuths. I'm your host, Chris, and we meet again for another deep dive into dark matter, this time episode six. In this video, we will discuss the episode overall, the changes to the characters, and how I think the chain of events will unfold for Daniela to finally discover the box. So this episode was a builder episode, and while it didn't drop any major bombshells, it did set the stage for what's to come. Now, obviously the box being sealed up looking like kind of a big Rubik's Cube, and what that means for Jason, Wynn, and Amanda is the most exciting takeaway of the episode, and don't worry, we will get to it, but there were other notable moments, in particular the dynamic between the characters. First is Jason, Wynn, and Amanda. They are clearly becoming closer as the romantic line between them begins to blur. Now, this isn't a surprise since we know they're compatible because, as they pointed out, the essentials of a person stay despite the reality. But this shift may be in part to the fact that their drug supply is running low and they're beginning to resign themselves to their situation together. And this could be why Amanda is writing a description of basically a utopia, figuring that if they're unable to find Jason in reality, they will be able to settle down in the best version of their shared reality. Although, this sort of reality may also be a good opportunity for Jason and Amanda to part ways, which may be a callback to Blair telling Amanda she needs to figure out what sort of reality she wants to end up in, and if this happens, Jason and one is a solo traveler, may be able to focus himself back home. Now, on the flip side, while Jason 1 and Amanda are growing closer, Jason 2 and Daniela are growing further apart. If you watched our episode 5 deep dive, we mentioned that Charlie's peanut allergy may be used as a catalyst for Daniela to take a step back and view Jason 2 in a different perspective, which is exactly what we see happen in episode 6. And this new perspective is what I think is ultimately going to lead Daniela to the box and possibly be the one to clear the way for Jason 1 to return home. But how? Well, essentially I think Danielle is going to become increasingly curious that Ryan is not responding to her calls after the conversation that they had. Which then leads her to check Jason 2's phone to see if there was any contact between them, and she will come across the Key Rock app. Which we see way back in episode 2. It provides live surveillance of the box, but more importantly, the history and recordings of what the motion camera has picked up, including Jason 2's greatest hits, the masked man putting Jason 1 in the box, Jason 2 going into the box alone, with Leighton, and of course, with Ryan, but coming out alone. And most importantly, footage of the box being covered in cement. Now at this point, she's going to want to check the storage unit where she'll find everything Jason 2's been hiding, including the white mask from the man that she saw in the video. And at this point, she's going to start putting two and two together. Now, she may find a way to locate the box and help free it just enough to make it useful for Jason 1. Or she may confront Jason 2 about it. Honestly, I'm still not sure which way I'm leaning on this, but... Another thought was that she finds Ryan's phone or hears it in the house, which ultimately leads her down the same path, but it seems unlikely that Jason 2 would kind of make this sort of error. Now, I think we get another subtle clue during Jason 2's therapy session with Amanda as he's realizing that this life isn't all it's cracked up to be. But in this scene, Amanda references her partner and we see a blurry photo on the desk of her with someone else, who I think may become relevant as the season wraps up. Lastly, let's talk about Max and the part he could play, because he's brought up again in this episode when Jason 1 tells Amanda his tree is not on the side of the house to indicate that the reality they were in isn't his original reality. So, maybe going deeper, as Amanda suggested in the hotel room and changing tactics, is for Jason 1 focusing on those emotions. As painful as these may be, those emotions that help shape him may be what will lead him back to his reality. In the end, maybe Max is Jason 1's totem. And that will wrap up this episode. Thank you so much for listening. As usual, we want to hear your thoughts and theories about the last episode and the show as a whole. So drop those comments under this YouTube video. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to let me, Rob, and of course the almighty algorithm know that we are on the right track. So until next week, stay sleuthy.